Right, today we're just going to um, do um, product analysis um, of um, a storage item. So you can pick a storage item. Here's just um, an item um, for storing jewellery. Uh, nice and easy to use. We can see when you get into the compartments. So today I want to talk a bit about how we draw um, these items. Um, so most of these items tend to be um, square. So you can start off... Um, with just a nice square shape on the bottom. Let's do the base first. Oops. There we go. Doesn't matter, it's just a sketch. And down. Okay. So you can just adjust that. You'll notice I'm not rubbing out any lines. Okay. Now the next the next part is the part that most students get wrong. When they start drawing the uh, different sections, they tend to do them at a funny angle, um, which means it doesn't look quite right. So I'm just going to rub that out. So the next lines all go upwards like this. I'll just do those with arrows so you can see. These are the uprights here. Okay. So there we have our base there. Um, and we've got the lines going up. So now I just have to join them to try and make it look like my product. Okay, it's about that height. And get to the corner. Come up there. Corner. Up there. Corner down there. And then you'll have something that looks um, like your um, product. Just get a sharper pencil. So now we've got our very loose sketch. We can start filling in the details and neatening it up. We've also got these diagonal lines, which I'm going to add in. One there and another one there. Now it doesn't look 100% right, but it's good enough for the sake of our analysis. So I'm just going to um, firm up these lines. I'll do the bottom lines first. There, and there, up there. You notice I'm not using a ruler. Okay, don't need to use a ruler. Nice and firm. And so on. Right, fill in the top. Now these um, items have got a bit of depth to them, so I'm going to add those in. Okay. Again, no ruler needed. Nice and quick, just a sketch, just a sketch. And we've got these items, um, these lines across there. Add those in, nice and quick. Now, when we've got details down here, don't press too hard, just put them in nice and faint. They're not that important um, to the sketch, okay? And I'm just adjusting that line. I might just rub out these a bit, just make this a bit clearer, okay? So, it's only to the foreground you want to sort of add a bit of definition, okay? So make those nice and strong. Don't worry about a few mistakes, it's absolutely fine. It's just a little sketch so we get an idea of, of the product. Now, another real good trick is, is you don't have to colour all, um, all of the product in. I like to use this trick. I'm going to need two colours to get this gold. I've got a yellow and a brown. Um, I tend to just do the corners quite dark. So I shade there, and light. Shade light shade and light okay and it just tricks the eye it tricks the eye into thinking it's the whole line is that color but it's not i'm just cheating i'm just doing the corners just doing the corners okay you notice i'm losing a bit of the detail back there because it's in the background it's not important so we'll just add those in now to bring it off the page a bit i tend to use a 2b pencil a bit softer. Any line that we can't see around, I'm going to make it bigger. And this is easier 
to do with a slightly softer pencil and here I'm using a 2B and it will just bring it off the page. I can't see around this corner. Can't see under there. Can't see under there. Oops. Can't see around there. Just brings it off the page. Done. So I'll carry on with my brown pencil. As I said, I just tend to do the corners and it just tricks the eye. Just important bits. So, mixture of the two colours to get this gold colour. Bit of yellow in there. Again, you notice that I'm not colouring it all in. Don't need to. Just enough to suggest the colour. Okay. And suggest a bit of texture. I might just put a bit more in there. And so on. Only a little sketch. So now we want to do this material. So for this material, have I got enough colours? Yes. Now because it's material, I th I'm going to use like a cross hatch. Now where it disappears behind the glass, I'm going to make it much more faint. Okay? So you can barely see it. Cross hatch to get the material. Okay. Again, you might want to colour in the corners a little bit more firm and it's just more suggestive of the colour. Oops. My leg's broken a bit there. Um, pink, I can just do the same technique. I'm going to use the cross hatching. Just a quick sketch, it's not going to take a lot of time. We can fill out some of those lines. Excellent, and the last bit, um, that's an even lighter pink, so I can just do that real light. Just suggesting. I don't have many pencils here, um, but you don't need a lot of pencils. Okay, just suggest it. Now, if you want to make it look like um, glass, you can do this technique. Um, just need to sharpen this blue pencil. Hopefully it will sharpen without breaking. So, you can just do a couple of flicks of, oops, try the other then. Mm. Let's try this. Just flick and down. Flick, flick and down. Okay. And it just suggests the glass. And that'll do. Okay, don't go overboard with that. Um, and, that, and, that and that's enough. That's enough. It's just suggestive of our shape. Now we have to do the hard part. We have to do the analysis, which um, more of you struggle on. You might want to identify what some of it's made of. So this is just made of brass. This is obviously glass. Now I'm going to say a bit about the glass can be dangerous. dangerous. Okay. Um, also, these um, compartments are nice and easy um, to get items out of. So you can put that in your analysis um, down here. Um, compartments. Compartments are nice and big. Easy access. Um, other things. Um, this material, it looks lovely, but it actually attracts quite a lot of dust. So you could put um, that in. Um, material attracts dust. Okay. Now the glass is really nice because it means that we can see um, the items that are in there. So we might want to add that in as well. Um, glass gives good ability okay um, so you can just go on um, this is just how we analyze products we can just look at the quality it's nice and well made you know just little things in well made it's a very nice um, color scheme we know exactly what shop it's bought from with these colors um, so um, um, nice color. 
So, there we have it, product analysis. Just a quick way of doing a sketch. You remember, try the techniques of just filling in corners, just to suggest colors. Um, you don't have to fill it all in. Nice and quick, don't need to use um, rulers. Um, if it's behind glass, remember to leave it nice and faint. Um, you can try your thick and thin lines, try using a 2D pencil. You, if once you're done, you may want to um, add in some rendering like we have in class, a few little bits, just bring it off the page. You're welcome to do so. Okay, let's give it a go. There we go.